Today in this video, we will be discussing 4th Stimulus Check Update 2023. This one is a much awaited topic. 4th Stimulus Check specifically focused on social security including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, RRB and low income, no income seniors. Also older adults, people with disabilities, I have got all the details right here in this video, all the information you need to know. Also today in this video, we will be discussing the schedule for the social security benefits for all the social security beneficiaries so without further ado let's get right into all the details all right guys now there are lots of people lot of people right here into the community ask me this very important question is there any latest update regarding a port stimulus check what's really going on many of you right here in the community are basically wondering when are we going to receive port stimulus check is there any latest update how much the money will be and when will i get those however guys before we deep dive into all the details make sure to subscribe to our channel how to guys turn on all the bell notification and do check out other videos from our channel be sure to hit that like share this video and without further ado let's get right into all the details all right guys so first i wanted to address the most common question that i receive in the comment section pretty much every day many of you right here in the community are wondering about the latest updates onto the fourth stimulus check whether it has been approved who is eligible to receive this fourth stimulus check and how much it will be what will be the fourth stimulus check amount and when will i get the fourth stimulus check these are some important questions i get in the comment section now if you take a look at the economy guys things are changing pretty rapidly i wanted to highlight some of the super important things uh you know what here into the economy things are changing rapidly so we need to keep close eye on to these important aspects because you know what these will totally decide whether the fourth stimulus check is coming or not now over the last few weeks i have seen some of the weird updates from various sources including some inflation reports data interest rates from federal reserves massive layoffs from big companies and these are some weird situation i noticed also the unemployment rate is a crucial factor that we need to watch very very closely when it comes down to those additional stimulus measures and you know what during the economic cycles we witness periods of economic growth and expansion followed by the contractions or recessions now when we experience a recession or economic contraction well guess what the government usually intervenes and gives out and send us a stimulus check to stimulate the economy by providing the financial assistance to individuals and businesses therefore the unemployment rate and the jobs market status are essential indicators which government uses to access the economic health of the country basically government see those as a indicators whether the economy country needs additional stimulus money or not now moving forward let's move on to the social security and how much it will be impacted by the fourth stimulus check and we are talking about seniors retirees and disabled individuals who receive their benefits from the social security and this one including people on retirement disability ssdi survivors ssi va rrb also no income low income seniors older adults and people with disabilities basically those are the people who are hit hard by the pandemic many of these individuals are struggling to make their end meets right now simply to pay out their bills put food onto the table even to afford the basic necessities while you know what a poor stimulus check is not guaranteed at this point there are other measures that government might be taking to provide assistance to the vulnerable groups for example they could increase the social security benefit amount also they can expand the eligibility criteria or introduce additional programs and incentives which are aimed at helping seniors disabled individuals and low income families like i said guys i said Said, we need to watch some economic indicators we need to watch very very closely to understand the possibility of another stimulus check which is being approved or not now i know guys some of you may find this information a bit of overwhelming but you know what it's essential to understand that when it comes down to the fourth stimulus check we need to watch out for these key important factors unfortunately we just can't write a letter or make a phone call to the congress and just ask them for a stimulus checks just send us a fourth stimulus check make a request they don't make any sort of a decision based on our pleas or how much we are struggling instead them do make their decisions based on the state of economy and its activity and that's why it's so important to keep close eye on to the economic indicators that show whether we are heading towards an economic recession and a significant economic contraction is 
happening or not. Now, if that is the case, let's say we are heading towards an recession or significant economic contraction, then guys, we can expect there will be another stimulus check. However, we can't say for sure whether it will be $2,000 check or $1,400 stimulus check. You know what? Many people have asked me about this very important question. What is really happening regarding that $2,000 stimulus check petition? While it's a nice gesture that couple of millions of signatures have already got onto that $2,000 stimulus check petition. But in reality, guys, it won't actually influence Congress decisions. And if it really did, then in that scenario, they would have approved ongoing $2,000 stimulus check a year or two years ago when those stimulus check was much needed in hard times just a couple of years ago in the pandemic. Now, just to be clear on the poor stimulus check, whether it has been approved or not, guys, let me tell you a federal level poor stimulus check has not been approved currently as of right now i'm doing this video so make sure you note this fact fourth stimulus check has not been approved but there are some states which are sending out stimulus check onto the state level speaking of the first state guys it's the main mains emergency winter energy relief plan estimated for 880,000 residents who are expected to receive stimulus check no later than 31st of the march that's this month, all checks will be mailed out by USPS Postal Service onto your address provided on main individual income tax return. Granted that you have filed your 2021 main income tax return as a full year residence by October 31st, 2022. The next state sending out stimulus is Idaho, which is sending out rebate worth up to $600. So for single filers, $300 and $600 for the couples, it could be 10% of the taxpayer's 2021 income taxes, whichever is greater they will be going to receive those. At our tax commission said that they will be sending out roughly 75,000 rebates per week in the order of the returns that they have received. Also, main residents will be getting out another check that is for a winter emergency relief plan. Maine will be also offering $800 in emergency fund for those who qualify. They have invested over $40 million in supplementing the federal low-income home energy assistance program while average benefits ranging from $1,600 to $2,200. Also, next one here into the Georgia, residents could earn up to $500. Governor Brian Kemp proposing to send out one-time rebates which could cost $1 billion of the state's $6.6 .6 billion budget surplus. According to the proposal, married couples would get $500 while individuals can get $250. It has been made known that it's based on a similar refund that went out last year and those refund payments including $375 for the taxpayers filing as heads of household but there is no mention of that in the new proposal. Also right here into the Montana, Montana residents could get benefit from the payments which would total $480 million. The money would become available as a one-time payment of $1,250 rebates. Also homeowners can receive up to $500 in property tax rebate from 2022 and 2023. Alright guys moving forward let's check out the schedule for the social security benefit payment for the month of April. And now we are at the end of the March month basically the the last payment which will be heading out onto the March is the 22nd of the March where all the beneficiaries, social security beneficiaries receiving their payments. If your birth date falls on 21st to 31st of the month, then be sure to check out 22nd of the March for your March social security benefits. And speaking of the 31st of the March, here it is guys, onto the 31st of the March, you'll be going to receive your 1st of the April SSI payments just coming in few days early. So be sure to check out 31st of the March. This is the month where where two SSI payments are coming in that is onto the 1st of the March your usual March SSI payments and onto the 31st of the March your April SSI payments will be coming in then moving forward onto the 3rd of the April guys we are going to receive the payments all those social security recipients who received their social security before May 1997 or if you are somebody receiving social security and SSI together then be sure to check out 3rd of the April for your social security benefits and 31st of the March for your normal SSI April benefits. Alright guys, moving forward, the next important date, 12th of the April. If your birth date falls between 1st to 10th of the month, then be sure to check out 12th of the April for your social security benefits to check out direct access card, mails, bank account, wherever you usually get your payments. Now moving forward, it's the next important date, week letter, 19th of the April. Now, if your birth date falls between 11th to 21st of the month, then be sure to check out 19th of the April for your social security 
security benefits. And the last important date for the April is the 26th of the April. That's when the last group of social security recipients will be receiving their payments. So if your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month, then be sure to check out 26th of the April for your social security benefits. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel, do check out other videos and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.